Parker, who lives down the street. Once, when I didn't know any better, I was his friend. A couple of days ago, Oscar said something really rotten to me. So rotten, I won't even repeat it. So I said something really rotten back. And he said something rottener. And then, we weren't friends anymore. It only took about two minutes to make enemies with Oscar. But it will take forever to make up. Because I will never make up with Oscar. Oscar is the kind of guy who if he had a glass of grape juice, he would spill half of it on me. Every spring, Oscar gets poison ivy and smells of calamine lotion. I bet Oscar misses me. When he wakes up in the morning, I'm probably the first person he thinks of. He thinks about having a real good time playing with me. Then he remembers that I'm not his friend anymore. So he pulls the covers back over himself and goes to sleep for another hour. And has a terrible nightmare that I'll never make up with him. The only thing worse than a terrible nightmare is a true nightmare. Oscar will most likely put on one white sock and one black sock because his mind will be on me. And later on in the day, Oscar will discover that he's got his shirt on backwards and he will try to figure out how it happened. He'll be so mixed up instead of brushing his teeth and combing his hair, he'll brush his hair and comb his teeth. After school, Oscar will watch cartoons on television and wonder why they are not as funny as they used to be. Every time his doorbell rings, he'll hope it's me. He'll run to answer it, but it'll only be the delivery man with some packages for his mother. Oscar will tell all his troubles to his cleaning lady, but it won't help. She'll tell him that next week when she comes, he and I will be all made up. But that's not true. <laughs> because I am never making up with you, Oscar. I am your permanent ex-friend. Next year, after it's been winter, and spring, and summer, and fall again, I still won't be your friend. Maybe you'll mope around the house so much that your mother will think you're sick and take you to the doctor. You'll sit in the waiting room for two hours while little kids crawl all over you. And one of them puts a sticky lollipop in your hair. Aww. Then the doctor will tell you that you're perfectly well. But it's good that you came in because it's time for your booster shot. <laughs> Afterwards, maybe your mother will take you for a chocolate soda. But you know what, Oscar? That soda will taste like virus medicine. You can count on it. You didn't know when you were well off, Oscar. Without me, you're a sinking ship. Come to think of it, I'm not the kind of guy who would let a ship sink. I'll let Oscar make up with me. And I'll even make it easy for him. I'll walk by his house, and if he's lucky enough to be outside, I'll let him make up with me then and there. Here I come, lucky Oscar. So where are you, Oscar? <laughs> he's probably inside crying over that funny television program. <laughs> Tough luck, Oscar. This was your big chance to get me back, but you blew it. I could ring the doorbell. Uh, no. You might get the idea that I wanted to make up. So that's it, Oscar. You missed your chance to be my friend again. That was a dumb idea, walking by Oscar's house. I think I'll call up one of my many friends to play with me. I've got a real long list of friends. Uh, let's see, Jennifer. No, Jennifer went to visit her grandfather in Waterville, Maine. Well, that takes care of her. 
And then there's Wallace. But he's still working on his ant colony. And he always dumps his extras down my back. Hey, what about that new kid on the street? I wonder if he tries out that stranglehold as a habit. Or just or it just happened the four times I've seen him. Well, maybe I'll give Oscar one more chance over the telephone. Hello, Oscar? I'll let you be my friend again. What? Don't you remember? A couple of days ago. Sure, big fight. Oh, never mind. Just come over and see my new train. Five minutes? Uh, okay. Goodbye. Oscar can't remember anything unless I remind him. Yes, sir. Without me, Oscar is a sinking ship. <laughs>